On the bench today, I have one of the original Madison Divinities. I picked this one up about two years ago on eBay. Um, it was listed as working, of course, different story when I got it in. About as far as it got to working was the power light coming on. Uh, once you hit standby switch and turn that thing on, uh, the tubes, they immediately start red plating, crackling, popping, all that good stuff. So, of course, I shut it down, put it on the side. I got a couple of Madisons. At the time, I really didn't care. Um, it's been sitting around for a while. I'm up for the challenge. Figured, why not? Well, let's fix this thing. So, um going to go through a couple of things on it. Unfortunately, I can't do a before and after, you know, sound test to show cuz this thing it produces zero sound, you know. Uh, just big loud buzz, hum, crackle, pop. You know, tubes are sitting there glowing. It's got a bunch of issues. We're going to go through it. Try to work things out. Um, you know, this was Madison's first run from what I hear. Uh, it's those divinities they released that had the contour knob that didn't work. Um, as you can see, this is one of the ones that was blogged about with the red tape inside. You know, it's got com components bridging each other and stuff. You know, big giant gobs of solder and everything, which is, you know, I guess it's okay if, if, if you want it to be. I'm going to touch it up and fix it. Um, but yeah, these things, they sound great when they're running. So let's get this thing running. Who knows? So I have the cap meter set up uh, up here for some of the filter caps. I'm gonna go through Try to get a quick measurement off of them. They're supposed to be 330 microfarads. I'm reading 343. That one's good. Yeah, get a good connection. And that one's pretty good. I'm reading three, 360. So, I think all the caps are good. Alright, so I found an issue, and this could possibly be what's causing this amp to crap out, um, at least with the tubes. Um, I was going through, I was making a couple of checks, I was checking other things, the capacitors ended up checking out fine. Um, but I was going through, I was checking these. When I got across these, some of them were showing open. Um, these are five watt, one K ohm resistors. So we're gonna check out those resistors now. Uh, you'll see up here, I'm gonna go through, there's one per power tube. Uh, I'm gonna go through and check those out. I'm over here on v 8 tube. And you'll see Going across that resistor, I am dead open. And V7, that looks right. About 993 ohms. Now at V6, dead open. At V5, things reading up in the mags. That's pretty much open. So I would probably save my tubes red plate and these are gonna be, play a big part in it. So let's go ahead and get those guys swapped out.
So I put this Madison back together after soldering in some new resistors that were connected onto those tubes. Um, went through, touched up some of the other solder. Anyways, it's all put back together. I'm gonna turn it on, check the bias. I'm gonna monitor the bias across here. Uh, get it set, make sure that these tubes don't red plate. Um, when I'm doing this, I'm going to have it on the speaker load and just make sure that everything is okay. I'm actually going to let it burn in for a while and monitor the tubes for about a good hour. So stick around, let's check that out. Alright, you should start seeing this draw. I'm going to set the bias probably around 45 millivolts. I'm gonna watch it. It's not too high, not too low. I'm gonna get up and start stabilizing. We're going to set it about right there. Check the other side. The other side's right around 30. And what this is doing is setting the other other two tubes that's close enough so we're gonna monitor this over the next hour see if it drifts So I went through and I changed the tubes in the sample. I was going to try that first, see if that would resolve the bias drift. And it did. Um, I had in there a set of these Electro Harmonics EL34s. These are re actually really good tubes. I do like these. Um, these I've used for a long time to test the amps when I've got them in repair. And I think they're about on their way out. So it's time to probably toss them or make some kind of cool little steampunk project or something out of it. Uh, who knows. Either way, uh, I'm pretty sure I got this amp fixed. Um, as you can see I set the bias at 45 millivolts again. This side staying steady at 45. I'll swap it over to the other side and make sure that we're still at the 45. And we're still at 45, give or take a little bit. I didn't go through and set it perfectly, but it seems like the two sets of tubes are uh, doing good and there's no runaway bias anymore. So I'm pretty happy about that. I'm pretty confident that this amp is now in working order. Um, gonna let it cook for a little bit longer, make sure that everything's all right in it. Um, just make sure it's good to go. 
then I'm gonna button it up and we'll do a sound check. 